top five ways that you can configure Dynamics 365 Sales CRM to make it work exactly how you want for your business. First of all, number one, you can remove stuff from the tables and from the screens. You don't want ticker symbol, you don't want fax, gone. Number two, add your own things onto the screen, new things in the header, new drop downs here to say what type of business you're working with, with your own classifications. In fact, everything on these screens can be moved around so that you've got the most important information right front and center and remove the stuff that you don't want. Number three, have you got a different way of managing your opportunity process flow through from lead to opportunity? You might not work in these exact same stages and steps. You might want some conditional branching there. If the opportunity is over a certain value, you want to add another step, or maybe you want a completely different process for your organization or multiple different processes for different types of opportunities, you can do that. Number four, you can change the navigation menu here, the order of it, the labels on it, adding new pieces in or changing the structure of those things and removing the things that you don't want to use in the sales application. And number five, last but certainly not least, you can add your own tables into the application. Your core CRM functions are already there, accounts, contacts, leads, opportunities, activities. If you want other things, you might want to add warranties, for instance, and track those, link them back to the inbuilt product tables and the accounts. You can do that. You can build out a simple or sophisticated data model extending what's already there. And if you would like to learn how to do any or all of these things, check out my complete tutorial here, which takes you through everything I've covered here step by step.